Today let's talk about the stopwatch function of your Mantis 2. When you're in the time of day screen, you can simply push the top right button, one light press, and it's going to take you to the stopwatch function. Again, looking inside the bezel, you'll notice the different settings, and in this case, the cursors are pointed to stop. At this point, you're not actually able to activate the stopwatch because it's designed so that you don't accidentally start the stopwatch just by pushing the buttons on the watch, especially since this is only one push away from the time of day screen. So you need to select the button one more time. So press select and you'll notice those cursors start flashing outside the word stop. In the middle of the screen you can see where your countdown timer or count up timer would be. You've got your hours in the top and it says stop at the bottom. So that way you know you're in the right mode. If I press the top right button again, a nice light press, I start my counter. As the counter is running, I can be counting time for any type of activity, whether it's something that you've got cooking on the stove, or it's an activity where you're trying to time one of your kids doing a sport, or if you're just going swimming yourself and you want to see how long it takes you to get from one end to the pool and back again. If I press the bottom right button, I'm going to have my lapse timer. In this case, I press it now, it's going to pause for five seconds. The screen is locked at 2525 and it starts again at 3050. In this case, I had the real time running in the background, but I was able to log that 2525 as a lapse time. So if I was doing a swim, for instance, and I wanted to see how long it took me to get from one end of the pool to the other, I can set that lapse, hit it right when I get to the other end of the pool, and then I can see if I can improve that time as I'm doing my exercise.